In this lesson, we're going to be building a flex table in AutoCAD and then be making a scale model. So we're using the drawing here, and we're actually going to build this in, in one to one, meaning that what you see 105 inches is what you're going to have for the overall size. And when we print it, we'll scale it down. So make sure that you're working in drafting an annotation. That's 2D. And we have defaulted in the top view. And then also go in and make sure that your snap settings are such that your object snap, the midpoint, endpoint, and center have been selected. And then your polar tracking has been activated. All right, so we're going to go ahead on the top ribbon. And I'm going to type in 0, comma 0. That's where I'm going to start my line. And if you need to scroll out as you do this with your mouse, go ahead and point your mouse up. And you want to go up at 3.5 inches. And you want to be looking at your drawing as you do this. And I'm just going to do this a little quicker than you may. So um, you might want to pause and, and actually double check this on your own. And I'm going to go ahead and move my mouse to the right and type in 6 inches. And then I'm going to point my mouse up and I'm going to type in 13 inches or 13 and push enter. It all defaults to inches. And I can either put my mouse and hover over and snap items together here, but I know this is six inches, so I'll move my mouse to the left and type in six. And then hit enter, and then point my mouse up and type in 3.5. And then now I'm going to move my mouse to the right and type in 1.5.5 uh, inches. It defaults to inches. 105.5 and press enter. And then I'm going to essentially do the same thing I did on the left side, go down three inches, move my mouse to the left six, six inches. And I'm just really reading my drawing here. And then I'll come down 13 inches, back over six, um, down 3.5 inches. And then I can just go ahead and click and snap and then hit escape. All right, so that's the outline of what's going to be a table. It's actually going to fold. Um, all right, and I can click the top on that top bar, and I'm going to dimension this. And, and I'm going to be turning in two drawings, one with dimensions, and one that I'm going to be either laser cutting or cutting out with an X-Acto. Now, the dimensions are way too small, so I'll go to Format, and I'll go to Dimension Style. And this is where I can change all this. I'm going to go to Modify, but rather than just do one thing, I'm going to select the fit, and I'm just going to scale everything up. That means the gaps, the arrows, everything. Now, I think I, I've done this a couple times. Uh, I've typed in 20 here, but as I recall, it actually is about 5. And then I'm going to change the precision so the dimensions, I don't have uh, 100,000. So I'm going to do tenths and then hundredths, and then I'll say close. And it should automatically do it, but sometimes if your RAM has all been used, your computer can be a little funny. So you might have to do the dimensions over, and there it is, 1.5 um, inches. All right, do it again. Okay, so there we go. All right, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and um, I, want to, I want to concentrate on the flex area, these lines. So I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm going to make, make a construction line. I'll use the same line. I can always delete it. And I'm going to take my mouse and start at that 0, 0, and type in 23. Then I'm going to move my mouse straight up, and I'm going to go ahead and type in 9.25 press enter, and then escape. All right, so that's one of them, but there's another line that actually uh, is three quarters of an inch next to it and up. So I'll go ahead and make a line, it's a construction line that's three quarters of an inch, 0.75 over, and then 0.75 up. And then I'll press enter, and then escape. All right, and I'm gonna start my next line there. So I'll go to the line tool,
and I'll select that base point right there, and I'll go up, and this line's gonna be 18.5 inches. That's what my drawing says. All right, and I don't need that line, so it's probably best to get rid of it. Now, I can go ahead and do the same on the other side, or probably the easiest thing to do is get rid of these lines, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in a mirror here. So I am going to type in M-I-R-R-O-R. -R. There is an icon up above, but let's just use this because those change a lot. Uh, I'm going to select the object, which is that bottom one, press enter, and now I'm going to snap on that midpoint and drag my mouse to the right, and then move it over and snap it on another midpoint, and I press enter. Now I don't want to delete it, so I I press enter here. Now I have to do a whole bunch of these. I think I count 10 here. You'll want to go through this and, and confirm this yourself. So again, rather than rebuilding it, I'm just going to copy and paste it on this one, right? So I need to move this over 1.75 inches. It's actually better if you do it from the bottom um, because when you paste things in, it, it works off the bottom. Uh, so 1.5 over and hit escape. Now I'm going to select this and go control C on my keyboard or edit copy and then control V on my keyboard or edit and paste. And I'm going to hover over this and drag it straight down and snap it on that line. It takes a little bit of practice. All right, so again, um, let's make this 1.5 inches over. And now I'm going to go ahead and select all four of them, control C on my keyboard, control V, and, and snap it, and again, go ahead and select all these, control C, control V, and I think I still need like two more here, so I'll just grab two more out of here. And uh, honestly though, my experience with this table is if you, I could probably leave it here, it gets a little wobbly uh, when, I, when I make it, because it's a little bit, a lot of, uh, this is where the, the bend occurs. So you can also experiment with this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste it. It really depends on what material you're using. If you're using paper, you probably don't need this many cuts. Uh, wood, depending on the thickness. And I'm going to get rid of all this miscellaneous construction lines just by uh, selecting it and hitting delete. Okay, so all my lines are there. So now what I'm going to do is I, I still need to build these little pockets on the bottom. So I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to work from my, my drawings. All right. So uh, recommend you look at your drawings. I'm going to use the first line as a construction line. So I'll snap and I'll go down. In this case, it's uh, three quarters of an inch, so 0.75. And that's where I'm going to basically start this thing. And I'm going to go down here. Um, two inches, then I'm going to go over all right so uh, one inch and then 0.5 inch up and then I'm going to go over here 1.5 inches and then I'm going to go up there one inch um, and I can snap over there, which is uh, 1.5 inches, go up 0.5, and then over. And so you just want to go ahead then and measure all this and make sure it's all working out here. And again, these dimensions are a little too big, so I should probably change this, these dimensions, make them a little smaller. But you want to dimension as you go along so you can verify what you're doing. So I'm going to modify. Um, and I'll go five and say, okay. All right. So now when I print this, I don't really want to, to do this. Um, when I'm putting on a laser cutter or cutting it out by hand. So what I'm going to do is, um, type in layer and the layer will occur, uh, appear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer and, I'm going to type in DIM for dimension. And so what I can do then is put everything on that layer 
the dimension. So I'll go ahead and select it. I'll select all the dimensions. And then I can right click and hit properties. And you'll see on the layer, I'm going to go ahead and select dimension. And the way that I can verify that is if I go to the layer and I turn the little light bulb off, it should disappear. All right. So that looks good. All right. So first lesson is completed.